Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. I really appreciate you guys all stopping by the channel. I'm seeing a lot more women here. Why am I saying that? Because guys, at the beginning, it was 98% men and it was 2% women. So there's a bit more women that are getting interested in this. What are we looking at? Check it out. Boom. Fast, eh? This is as slow as I can get it as for framework. Imagine. This is an impact. Um, hang on guys this is the left side of the moon this is on the surface on the dark side of the moon by the way it, uh, over the half moon we're looking at a flash of light an explosion I guess because they say you know we're looking it's August 18th during the meteor shower but you know what we have a location so now we know where this um, meteor asteroid or light appears there we're gonna get a bit closer a lot closer to see it it's pretty big it would be probably a mile wide or half a mile wide on the surface imagine during august 18th at exactly 10 35 p.m august 18th uh 90 degrees from the sun was the moon um on august 18th and it would have set at midnight it was hit at the bottom of mare serenitatis uh veering off towards eratosthenes crater down the mountain range of uh, the Apennine Mountains and probably before or near uh, between Eratosthenes Crater and Copernicus Crater. So I'm going to go even put an arrow up and we should be inside of, I don't know, 75 miles probably of where it hit. Um, I have to wait till the line of light moves over because it's still in the darkness. So this hit, this is an image when the light was not there. This is uh, last month, right there. All the arrow where it's touching this is the possible area where it would have hit so it would have hit between very close to copernicus and very uh, probably just missing eratosthenes crater i'm not sure and i want to go see if it was a mile wide the, the flash maybe half a mile wide that could have been an impact maybe a new crater this is how they form if and i said if those are how the real craters form i believe <laughs> but these objects they would have cracked the moon. All these craters that are assumed craters, the moon would have split in millions of pieces with all these impacts. I mean, these impacts were not all at the same time, but let me tell you, they were very close, uh, supposedly, all at the same time. It would have cracked the moon in half. So we're looking at, during the meteor showers, August 18th, we're looking at an impact or the lights, like I'm telling you, the blinking lights we see on the surface, except, hang on, this one was really orange. Uh, I think it's important to, to indicate the colors and stuff. It wasn't a white flash like I've always seen. This was a very, very, very yellow flash. Now, the only time I've seen that yellow is on Crow 777's uh, propulsion UFO when it took off and or um, a real asteroid or a falling star. Like You can see that orange look. So, yeah, take a look. We can see... Uh, just off um, the in the darkness, off the line of light, we can see that flash. And this is slowed down um, hundreds, hundreds of times. I slowed it down as much as I could. In other words, I kept just one frame rate of uh, speed to be able to advance the footage. It was a fast, bright mass of light, and it lit up fast and bright, and it went out immediately. So that impact that I showed you was on August 18th, 2018. Now this is August 19th, the next day, because I went up to see as the light is advancing over and darkness is moving over to reveal where this impact was, whether we see it or not. It doesn't matter. If the impact was a mile wide, you know, it could make a little hole somewhere, but you never know what happened. It could be a UFO, it could be an asteroid, a meteorite, it could be lights on the surface too, but the lights on the surface i'm surprised that it was orange so it had to be it had to be some kind of uh hit most likely this is the beginning definitely of where it could have hit and it could have gone as far as copernicus crater as we'll see tonight if the moon uh and sky is clear now we're going to zoom up here to see um in the line of light all the time is when it shows us signs of construction and I'm talking about objects that are side by side. I mean, maybe some of these objects had different shapes, but it's the fact that they're side by side. It's understanding what construction is. You know, uh, we have constructed objects here on the surface that is not that are not 
symmetrical, but we can easily know that it's, you know, built. <laughs> um, as we're zooming up here, the edge. Uh, you know that um, no matter where that line of light is, do you notice how the moon always looks round wherever it is, that line of light? So when we look at the moon, it's really like looking through a fisheye lens. This is the wall that we're going to zoom into, well known as the wall. So we're going to see something that is supposed to be 800 feet high to 1,000 feet high, but its thickness, how wide it is, is, I believe is half a mile, I think. So it's going to give you an idea of what it would look like looking at something that's half a mile. There it is. That black line would be a thousand feet high elevation <laughs> and half a mile wide. So I'm finding so many lights that are already on the surface, but this orange light really does look like an impact of some kind or an explosion that was on the surface. Either way, I didn't see it arrive, right? We just see that flash that was half a mile to a mile wide, which is pretty darn wide, let me tell you. And again, it's, you know, it really looks like what NASA had posted, you know, the flashes. And I saw a couple of other people posting the same thing. Um, apparently there are many strikes, you know, on, on the surface of the moon. But um, I saw it in the dark side, imagine. Okay, so it's on the surface, yes, but while there was no lights on the moon, so we could really see the impact very, very well. Now, where we are zooming in right now, it's Eratus Thenus Crater. These are the Apennine Mountains, and this is where that asteroid, meteor, or light would have lit up, would have been beginning right here. So for me right now, it's 6.03 p.m. I am going outside. Well, not now, at 9. 9 or 9.15 is my time here to go outside to be set up. So I go out at 9, start setting up. 9.15, I'm set up, and I'm 15 minutes away to start filming. I tried filming around 9 or 9.15, and it's no good, you know, too bright. Obviously, once the sun goes down, then I get right up on the moon. So two days in a row, we've been seeing flashing lights. I've seen it alongside of the moon. I've seen it over top of the moon, which I have not found yet again in the footage. Too many hours, four or five hours of footage. Doesn't matter, it's all there and I'll find it at one point. And I'll show it to you guys, don't worry about it. A nice orange light, but this time it made like a banana streak, sort of veering off to the right, just appeared out of nowhere, very close, pressed up to the uh, side of the moon. And this is another close up of the bottom side of the moon because the bottom is reversed now for us to be able to see right side up. Hard to understand, eh? Everything's hard to understand in space. Um, check this out. We're going to zoom up um, to Mare, well, not to Mare Serenitatis. We're going further than that, but I do want to talk about Mare Serenitatis as we're going by, which is right here. So, of course, the Apollo moon landing, Apollo 17, was right um, here. And look at the inside of Mare Serenitatis. Look at all the objects. And look at the way they are symmetrically placed on the top bottom and the way things cross themselves 90 degree angles the most manipulated one of the most manipulated mirrors i think i've ever seen uh you know very rare that i see mirror serenitatis like this too only a couple times that i have because yeah the surface is near impossible to see very hard to see but you just saw right here clear enough to all the um, different levels archimedes creator the big creator coming up here thanks for watching everyone a lot going on trying to film the moon every night, and I am, so that's why I'm pretty busy. But I'll get to the comments, guys, and I'll spend an entire day doing so. Bruce Ward 75 a commercial gmail.com. If ever you guys want to have a UFO video seen on my channel, you have to own the copyrights. A short description, please, and a name. Thanks a lot, everyone.